Hello and welcome back to some PvP War Skyblock. Now, I'm making this intro as rushed as possible because in a minute, we are going to be fighting the brand new, uh, what is he called? Oh god, I lost his name. The Pohaku boss is actually about to spawn in, so let's go and check it out and fight this bad boy, see what we can get. We got, we got people here, I'm not worried about it, I won't die. Surely, I could fly around this guy. We just smack this guy, and, that, and, and like nobody's taking damage. I mean, this is pretty sick. Oh man, this is a lot of clicking. Um, I will say this isn't my favorite boss fight, but seeing as it's meant to be just like a group one where we all fight together, it's pretty cool. Dude, back when they first uh, launched Skyblock Origin, like season one, two, and three or something like that, had some really sick bosses, and I kind of hope they go back to that. So I don't know if everyone gets a reward or if it's based off of damage. I already said that. I, uh, I already said that already. That's what I was gonna say, by the way. But. I guess we'll see. Oh my god. Please die. Please die. Yes, sir. Okay. Pohaku pouch, which gives uh, a sparkler set one to three times. Lighthouse seeds, mushroom spawners, summer monthly uh, wheel of fortune, or some of the wheel of fortunes, uh, not monthly. Uh, Crimson key, a random wand. So, chance at something like that. Three, two, one, bam. Oh, hello. Uh, I got the sparkler plan, I got the lighthouse, I got a mushroom, uh, three of them, a crimson key, and a random wand pouch, which could give me a pearl wand, magnet wand, or growth wand. Let's see what it gives us. A magnet wand. But the key's pretty tight, and the mushroom spawners are actually massive. Keep in mind, these cost, I, well, I have a discount because of my rank, but these cost one, uh, I think it's like a billion. I was about to say a different amount, because I'm used to higher amounts, but no, it's literally like, a billion. Now, I don't really have a lot planned right now. I could do some island upgrades. I actually have enough that I could upgrade this, but I don't even have it unlocked yet, so it's kind of pointless. I think experience next. I definitely need experience for enchanting, so you know what? Let's get that to level 5 as well. Level 3, not bad. We got some of those leveled up. That's beautiful. I'm gonna warp to zone and do a little bit of farming, I think. I'm curious. Do the mobs here give experience if you kill them or anything? I mean, they probably do, right? Where are they at? No experience, but they might give mob coins. They do give skill experience. So that's pretty tight. Oh, you know what I haven't done? I just forgot. I have claim. Donut. Yeah. I think if I just do claim all, that works now. Yeah, okay. That's awesome. I'm glad they fixed that. I don't know what's going to happen with PvP Wars. Like, I don't know what route they're trying to take here. Because, like, they, they had some cool things going. But I guess, I don't know, maybe the community just didn't like it. It just didn't get enough, like, players doing it. I, I don't know. I like the whole story thing. It just felt overwhelming because I could never get through it before the end of the season. Um, now it's more about just grinding, which, like, is cool, but I do wish there was a little more content. You know? Just a little more of this. It doesn't need a big story. It can just be, like, stuff locked behind skills. Or they could go a more unique route. Who knows? What if I wait for a thousand blazes to spawn in and just bomb the shit out of them? Thoughts? Hey, farming level six! Poggers! What do I get for that? Cow spawners. Well... That kind of sucks. I'm making some decent money from this. I've already got 465 million, which is absolutely beautiful. The only thing is I don't know what to spend it on. I could save up and get more spawners, but like, should I be looking in the auction house for anything that I might need? Actually, everything in the auction house is probably going to be way more than I have. It's actually very easy to make enough money to buy a single mushroom spawner in this world. It's kind of crazy. Of course, this is with a lot of boosters, because like, I'm getting like 1.2 million per cell. But then, like, I'm getting all the boosters stacked on top of that. One thing that'd be really cool is if, whenever they did this, it'd be cool if they just stacked the numbers together, and it was like, you just made this much, and then you could hover it, and it would break it down for you, and be like, this much from uh, base sell price, this much from your island booster, your money pet, uh, your personal booster, super money boot, like, all that stuff. Like, it'd be really sick. There is 20 minutes to the supply event. You know what? I think I will try to go for that. I think I already said I would, but I'm at least gonna do, like, 10 minutes of grinding my island or something. One billion, let's go! And then just a little bit more experience. And we'll have this level. That'll be put us at, what, level seven? Slowly but surely, we need, like, roughly 30,000 more experience right there. I was gonna say 33,000, which would have been accurate, but then it ticked up. Hey, let's go. We did it, guys, I think, right? So for level 10, we need, oh. We need basically double our, oh, over double. Or no, I guess it's about double our experience, roughly, or... Yeah. Okay, well, we got some things to put down on our island. Let's head back. We'll do a little bit of grinding, and then I will also do a uh, a, 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 a little bit of that uh, beautiful, beautiful supply drop event in a little bit. Let me put this there, because it really doesn't matter. It's just going to go right into that. I'll be back, blazes. I will kill you soon. I just need to put down these goat spawners. Goat spawners. I've also been claiming this just in my free time just to have these, because... Just, just because, really. Good. This is not really giving me... 
anything, you know? That's what I hate about it. It's like, it feels like this grinding is just pointless. Like, I mean, they spawn in every- I mean, if I maybe I've had more of them. Okay, here's what I want to try real fast. I want to take these guys out. I want to take my mushrooms out. I'll take my... Is this an evoker? Iron golem. Uh, and I'm actually just going to remove one of these guys. Actually, I should probably just take one of each. So I'm going to let these guys spawn in, and I'm just going to kill them one by one and see the amount of experience. Okay, well, it's not going to be fully accurate because we've got six of these guys, four of these guys, but I'm going to do my best to, I mean, test it. I mean, if it's drastically different, it'll make sense, you know? So let's start off with, I guess, the evokers. So that was nine experience, five mob coins. I mean, the mob coins aren't really what we're going for here. And then from the iron golems, that is a whopping 59 experience for those guys. And then what about you guys? One. Four witches, so let's go and kill these guys. They give us a whopping 38 experience. Did it also give me an experience bottle? Oh no, it must have- okay, it must have lagged because they, they do lag sometimes. Okay, neat. Wasn't iron golem still better? 58. Iron Golem was 58 experience. So, so far, nothing has beat the Iron Golem in terms of experience per kill. And we even had less of them. We had four of them, whereas everything else had six of them. Except for the Witches, which didn't have them. Uh, it had the same amount as the Iron Golems. So, it's the most accurate. Well, that was an interesting thing to, to test. In the future, in the future, I definitely want to test out the Shulker and the uh, Gas Spawner to see which one of them is better. But I don't think I'm going to do that this time. Oh no, guys, I almost missed it because I was... Uh, because I thought I had already missed it, but I didn't. Uh, you're active, I'm ready to go. I don't know if anyone's gonna try to kill me, but I wanna be prepared. I have no idea what kind of stuff I'm getting out of this already, by the way. Um, I'm just grabbing stuff. Oh, that gives me strength. Strength three? Oh, there's so many guys. Oh, there's so many of them. And they're all mine. All of them. Uh, well, until someone comes and claps my cheeks, that is, but I don't think they will. Surely not. I'm the, like, the only one gobbling- Oh, no, there's someone else in here gobbling them up. Now, the question is, are they friend or foe? Probably not gonna be friend, because they know how many supply drops I have, so I might start working my way back. Oh, hey, blood. Yeah, you- you- go ahead. I'm not gonna kill you. I'm not gonna be the jerk. I just wanted it for my own protection. Plus, there's no satisfaction in killing someone in leather, unless for some reason it's like a weird set that's like not actually leather, but I'm gonna let them have the rest of these. There's only like three left. I got a lot of them. We got some epic spawner pouches and a normal spawner pouch, which I'll be opening up in a little bit. I've got some pet candy here. Ooh, okay, okay. Let me put that up for a minute. A cell wand. I feel like cell wands are not that useful anymore. Like they have all these things that just make them pointless. You know what I mean? Proficiency 3, permanent skill boost. I might YOLO that. It worked. Awesome. That is so sick. And then we got lifesteal 1. Ooh, that's pretty sick. You know what? For this one, I'm gonna go and do a salvage, or sorry, not salvage, scrap. Throw all of them in there. It thankfully doesn't throw these ones in here, and that is 34 million experience. Oh my god. All right, well, I've got a few more things to open. Um, I probably should have opened this already, but I didn't realize I already had my kit. Um, it's a whole thing. Ah, Tycho's head, guys. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, I did get a wheel, of, uh, a summer wheel of fortune spin. Let's do our normal ones first. This is just the best thing. And then I wanted to test something that I completely forgot about. I will do that after the second normal wheel of fortune spin. That is three million cash. What I want to do essentially is grab out my stuff in here, right? So I definitely need to be claiming these because these give us free stuff. Like that one right there. That is one one claim from it. Uh, oops, I didn't put the R. Ha, <laughs> scrap, right? Put that in. That is immediately 14 million experience. Three premium Wheel of Fortune spins, and then one Summer Wheel of Fortune spin, which actually got a buff, so I'm excited to see how good it is now. Five million cash? Nice. Last one. 3,000 mob coins. I'll take it. And for our Summer Wheel of Fortune spin, our one and only, what do I get? Give me that red. Give me that red. Give me that red. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, wait. We got a Summer Scratch card. Oh, you need at least three, I think, or four to make a match. And depending on whichever one has the, the highest one that matches is what it goes off of. In this case, it was a common. Eleven of them. Bam, bam, bam. I got fly. Nice. I already have fly. Insomnia three and warrior one. Chance to summon iron golem. Ooh, that's kind of cool. But I'd rather get the experience, which is actually not a lot there, huh? Two crimson crates. Bam. Bam! We got a water wand, which is kind of useless, and another summer wheel of- or summer, uh, scratch card. On the bright side, though, I did get five blaze spawners, which is pretty good. This is pretty fun. I- there was a lot more to do today than I really thought there was gonna be, if I'm being honest with you. I feel like we made some pretty solid progress. That was awesome. We learned a new thing about the G-Kit, which I should have been paying attention to, because that is absolutely beautiful. Like, look at that. We already have- 85 million. I'm gonna probably do some a little bit of enchanting for my Harvester Ho in between episodes. 
but that's for the future. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Join the server. All the information down in the description. And leave a like on this one if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one.